Hello, my name is Rick, and this is another Varenix video. Welcome back. Today, we're going to take a look at the NVIDIA EVGA for the Win 3 Ultra GeForce RTX 2080 Ti and how to configure cool bits in an auto start file on Linux. Stick around, you don't want to miss it. going to do first is enable cool bits when we first built this machine we built a whole new machine for our use here at Varenix and it's a 10k build it's a AMD Threadripper 2950X with 64 gigs of RAM uh, Asus motherboard extreme and we we built a nice machine uh, for editing video it's basically an all-in-one. This is a micro studio, so it's an all-in-one machine. Uh, and we use it for everything. So let's take a look at what we need to do. We need to enable cool bits here on Linux. We're going to do this by editing the Etsy x11xorg comp. We're going to create an auto start file for enabling cool bits on session login. We'll do this by creating an auto start file in it's a hidden directory under config. Then you go to auto start and we'll create a file there that will allow us to have this working upon session start. We're going to verify that the cool bits is working. We're going to verify that the auto start file is working. We're going to check the heat on the back plate by manually opening the case cover grounding yourself with your left hand to the metal case and placing your right hand on the GPU's back plate. Now, the reason this is necessary is when we built this machine, the first thing I noticed was that the back plate was extremely hot. And when I say hot, this was hot enough to fry eggs on. And only one fan was spinning. It took me a, a little bit to do some research to see how um, NVIDIA had created uh, this particular GPU, and I'm not sure that they all are like this. I've used a lot of these NVIDIA cards over the years. But in this particular case, what they've done is this one fan spins to a certain threshold, and the other uh, two are supposed to pick up where that one leaves off if the card would overheat. So by default, all three fans are not spinning on this card. Um, now in Windows, they provide a little... A graphical GUI interface to where you can link your uh, fans and you can give the you know uh, bring them up to whatever speed you need and, and you know it just works in Windows but in Linux uh, you really need this uh, if you're building a machine and and your expensive uh, GPU is getting hot this is going to help a lot. So that's how you check this, is you put your hand on that back plate. That back plate should be cool. It should not be hot. It should not be all that warm. If you, if you do this right and set this up right and everything's working, you should see the temperatures on that back plate uh, become very cool. And lastly, what we'll do uh, is you're going to want to open your case, whether it be a self-built machine or whether it be uh, uh, you know so something you purchased, if you're running Linux, you're going to want to verify. Just open the case, uh, remove the cover, and take a look at the video uh, uh, card itself, the GPU, and verify that all three fans are spinning. That's the goal, and you can set these frequencies or uh, rotations and everything to what you need 50%, 60%, 65% or what have you. We'll show you that. But you need to make sure that all three fans are spinning. So let's get started by taking a look at uh, creating a backup of our XORG comp. You're always going to want to create a backup before you start. So here we go. All right, all you'll want to do, let's clear that. Uh, you just want to sudo cp your etsy x11 xor comp to comp back. So let's do that.
Okay, once you've created your backup file, what you'll want to do, uh, we're going to overwrite any XOR comp you have by doing a sudo NVIDIA settings. Let's pull that back down. If you take a look here, I, I pulled this up. And all you're going to want to do is just go here to your uh, server display settings, the uh, X server, it's number two from the top. And you're going to want to say save to X uh, configuration file. And go ahead and resave your XORG conf as you have it here. Once you hit save, that'll overwrite what you have and you should be good to go there. Okay, we can quit out of there now. Let's go back to our terminal. And we're going to want to sudo nano etsy x11 xorg comp. Okay, this is the file you just saved. And what you want to do is just come down here, and I've already configured this, but this will show up once you put it in. Um, now, I put it in two places. This isn't necessary, but, but don't worry about it. Just go ahead and put it in as I have it. If you notice here, this option that's written is cool bits in parentheses, capital C, cool bits in parentheses, space, 28 in parentheses. This option is what you're going to want to add underneath your, your board name under device. Uh, option under default depth on your screen and add it there. Now, you really don't need uh, this in two places. I do believe it's just screen you need this under. But the main thing is, is that you have this option under your screen device. Okay, so again, you're going to have the same thing that I just put up top here, which I, I don't believe it's necessary uh, to have that there. You're going to want this down here uh, someplace under your uh, default depth of your screen. And you just enter in just as you have up above. Cool bits in parentheses, capital C, cool bits, all one word, in parentheses, space in parentheses 28. Now what this is going to do is it's going to add a couple options in our uh, configuration under NVIDIA settings once this is working. So once you have that, you'll either restart your display or uh, reboot. And um, that will be your next step. So once you have this in your XOR comp, you're going to do a reboot or a restart of your display, your X display. Okay, let's exit out of here. Once you're back in, if you do do a, uh, we don't need sudo on there, just do an NVIDIA settings like that. And take a look at, let's minimize this here just for a moment so it's not in our way. And this may be small, so you may want to uh, look closely at this. If you come under your thermal settings, now you're going to notice that there's two new settings. Um, this may not be, uh, by default, set up to auto start, but that's okay. We're going to do that next. The main thing to look at here is that you should see that you have this setting that says enable GPU fan settings. And then you should see the speeds below it for the two settings that uh, we're getting ready to add to the auto start. And then when you restart your machine or you restart your uh, display server, you're gonna find that this will automatically set your fan speeds to whatever you configure uh, for your, your hidden configuration, it's a dot config uh, auto start. And I'm going to show you that here in a sec. But this is what we're trying to get. And the reason you use 28 is it also adds a setting under, let's see here. Uh, here. It adds this in edible performance levels. Uh, some consider this for overclocking and things for 
uh, your, uh, you know, performance levels. And this adds this. So the 28 adds both the thermal settings, okay? And it also adds uh, this down here. Uh, so you can overclock your card. I don't overclock my card. I, I don't really have any need to. But if you set it to 28, it also gives you this setting too for editable performance levels. Okay. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and get out of there. Okay. Your next step is going to be creating your, your auto start file. And what you'll do there. Um, but you're going to open up a terminal. Let's do that. And you're going to go to your home directory. You're going to go to dot config auto start. Okay. You see, I've got some, uh, dot desktop files in here. These are files that uh, start up when you start a session. And there's a couple ways you can do this. You can start, you could create a bash file and add it, um, you know, to your system D startup. You can do it this way. I prefer to do it this way and, and it works just fine. You'll notice that there's one here called NVIDIA fan speed dot desktop. And this is what we're going to create. You can just do that by touching that file. And be sure to give it the name that I have there in video, uh, Fan Speed Desktop. Uh, so you just say touch. That. And that'll create that file. Once you've touched that file, you can chmod plus x. That file. And you're going to make it executable. And then what you're going to want to do is nano NVIDIA. Um, and this is what you're going to try to put in here. Um, a standard desktop entry type equals application. And then here's the actual commands we're running on the startup of our uh, desktop uh, to place the fans where we want them. If you just take that part of the command part itself and hop back out of here just for a second and you run that, you what you're doing here is you're saying, okay, we're going to set the G, uh, GPU fan control state to one. That enables uh, you to change the fan speeds, okay? And then what we're saying is on fan zero, we're going to set the target fan speed to 65. And we're going to do the same thing for fan one. Okay. Now on this particular card, the two, the two fans run off the second one. So it says fan one. That's actually going to run the next two fans that's on this particular card. And again, I've set that to GPU target fan speed 65. So if you hit enter, this is the actual command. You'll see that it assigned the GPU fan, uh, GPU fan control state to one, which means that now you can set the target fan speeds for both fan zero and one, which it did and assign both values to 65. And if you run NVIDIA settings again, you'll see that that's where it's set. You can run these at anything you want here. Um, I put them to 65. Uh, uh, specifically for when I'm recording videos and doing things, but you can set this, uh, what did I do there? Oh, fan one output target speed. Okay. Yeah. You can set these both right here and you can put in what you want. And once you hit enter, you'll see that both of them are set to 50. If you do a uh, NVIDIA settings, uh, minimize that. Go to your thermal settings. You'll see both of these are now running at 50. Okay. We come back in here. And we put that those back to 65. And I'll leave uh, a, this in the uh, show notes below. That way you can copy and paste if you like to. 
uh, these particular settings, but you want to verify that your fans are all three spinning, like I said, when you're all done, and that uh, um, this is working as you expect. But there you go. Uh, and again, if you do an NVIDIA settings again, you'll see that they're set to 65 now. So basically what you're wanting to see is when you start your machine, that these are already running. That way you don't have to manually turn this on and set it. Now I will say this, and I haven't quite figured this part out. When it says fan speed one, that's the second two fans. But now I can manipulate the first one just by pulling it over and saying apply and it works fine. But for whatever reason on the second set of fans, if I pull that over and say apply, it doesn't seem to um, work. At least it hadn't in the past. It may show the difference here and I can hear the fans ramping up as I do this, but I don't believe it's actually truly ramping these fans up. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that on the second two fans, whatever you set it for, that you're just using the files uh, to, to, to get those where you want. It's just here that it doesn't seem to work uh, for me, but when you do this from the prompt, it seems to do better. Um, so you can hear the speed difference most likely on this. Well, anyway, that's how it works. All right, so this is the goal is to get that to come up so that you can set your fan speeds, but you can always, if you wanna manually do it, uh, do it from the prompt here just by telling it to uh, do that. And you rest assured if it says it assigned these values it did, you can always set it to higher value so you can hear the fans ramp up. Um, choose whatever value works best for you. When you install these cards and you're running them on Linux, the best thing you can do is put your hand on that back plate. If that back plate is smoking hot and you can fry eggs, something's wrong. This is how I maintain the temperatures and try to keep the uh, GPU from burning up. I did see a video or read an article or something where one of these same exact cards did burn up in a, in a machine. So you wanna protect your assets and make sure it doesn't burn up. So that's what we've got for here. Let's go back. Let's go back to where we were here. Okay, so by adding uh, the cool bits 28 in parentheses to your XOR conf and either restarting your display or rebooting, you're gonna see that it's gonna place these settings in your NVIDIA settings. Uh, that, that's how that works. Then the auto start file for enabling cool bits, again, is in your home directory under config auto start. And again, what that will do is once you come back into a session, it's gonna automatically fire up your fans uh, for whatever settings you have config for that file, um, in that file. Um, so you're going to want to verify that cool bits is working by doing these things. You're going to want to verify that the auto start file is working. You will know because if the auto file auto start file is not working, what will end up happening is is that you'll see the settings in, in Nvidia settings uh, when you type in Nvidia settings, but which it, it won't be checked and it won't be running. Um, so the auto start file has to be there for that to automatically start your fans again on session. Uh, by when you log in uh, your session or you reboot your machine. Um, and again, check the heat plate by manually opening the cover, grounding yourself with your left hand to the metal case, and placing your right hand on the GPU's back plate. If that back plate is cool, as it should be, uh, and I've verified this over and over and over, uh, this does work. It should be completely cool. It shouldn't have, have a bunch of temps to it at all. Um, prior to that, like I say, with a single fan running, it was hot enough to bake egg cakes and, or fry eggs. It was very, very hot. So lastly, what you want to do is you want to get down and verify that all three fans are spinning. Whether you put it to 50, whether you put it to 65, or whatever you come up with for the work you're doing with your video card, be sure that all three fans are spinning. And if you can accomplish that on Linux, you're doing well, you're saving your card, and you're configuring it properly. So that's what we have for that. 
Thank you for watching another Veronix video. My name is Rick. If you do like our videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. We'd appreciate it. Anyhow, have a good one, and we'll see you next time.